I must say I've been seeing a lot of bigotry. The only thing to call it is white supremacy. And um, the most horrific forms of white supremacy and white imperialism have come in progressivism movements like the Nazis, uh, the Ku Klux Klan, the various eugenics movements in the South, Tuskegee experiments, uh, the Dixiecrats, um, and then various forms of um, of dictatorships in Latin America where it was basically, you know, the United Fruit Company owning an entire country. Um, but <clears throat> in, um, in Canada, you may have heard about this. I, I first saw it on Abba and Preach a few months ago, um, where a teacher is chastising uh, Muslim students for not um, being pro-LGBTQ. Not even being anti, just not being pro. And then, um, then in Michigan, uh, I, I saw a few videos where there's cities in Michigan that are all upset because the there's a lot of um, Arab Muslims on the school board and they voted against having uh, LGBTQ uh, symbols like the various flags, not just the traditional rainbow flag, but all the other flags and the trans flags and stuff like that, or having any books endorsing um, non-heterosexual uh, relationships. <clears throat> now, you will often hear from the progressives um, and the uh, what gets called leftists um, in the United States about how, you know, heteronormative is, is, um, is you know, just, <clears throat> you know, white, is just, you know, straight white Western Christian male, um, except the white Christian Western countries are the only ones that um, not only tolerate and allow LGBTQ+, plus, but enthusiastically endorse it and actually ostracize, um, socially ostracize those who are um, vocally against it. Um, <clears throat> and uh, it is a hatred of the other. It's a, it's a way of, I, I see it as a way of, because um, there's many, many straight people who see it as, you know, you're less than if you don't accept that. Like um, aid has been cut to uh, Rwanda, um, Uganda, I think it's Uganda, it's the Uganda or Rwanda, I'm, I'm sorry, um, that um, made homosexuality a crime. Now, there's plenty of Muslim countries that have that, you know, where homosexuality is a crime, but this is an African Christian country that just recently made it a crime. So the United States will no longer give them monetary aid for food and stuff like that. So they're willing, they're, they're, you know, they're having women and children starve to death and die from preventable diseases because they're not in lockstep with this LGBTQ agenda as many on the right call it. I'm not even, I don't even like using the term right because it's, I don't know. It's just, it's the Republicans, let's say. Um, and Republican-like politics of Amer American Republican. I realize outside of the United States, Republican usually means communist. Um, but uh, yeah, Black Africa, uh, actually all of Africa, all of Africa, except possibly for South Africa with the white Afrikaans. Um, all of the Middle East, all the Arab countries, um, the uh, Iran, Pakistan, 
<coughs> Bangladesh, all of the Middle East except the modern state of Israel. Um, that's not, you know, the, the, they, the immigrants from those places are gracious enough to tolerate um, LGBTQ. Um, people existing because I just just try to put yourself in their shoes. I'm not arguing for bigotry. Put yourself in their shoes. Imagine if you sent your children to school and the teacher was teaching um, pedophile acceptance, which there are some crazies that have map acceptance and all that kind of stuff. You would not tolerate that, right? That, you know, like that's, we acknowledge that as rape, you know, a seven-year-old, a five-year-old, a four-year-old cannot consent that a 45-year-old man with a four-year-old child, that is rape and that is evil. Um, well, um, traditional beliefs in Africa and their interpretation of their certain African churches, as well as every form of Islam, does not tolerate homosexuality or anything that deviates from um, sex inside marriage and marriages between a man and a woman. Within Islam, <clears throat> a man can have up to four wives. Um, but uh, again, the Westerners would probably be bigoted against that. Now, I... I might be a little, you know, prejudiced or, you know, skewed in a way because, yeah, um, one of my parents was Muslim and I, since I was the youngest, I, after I made my confirmation in the Catholic Church, I was forced to go to the mosque, to the Islamic Foundation. And I actually um, really jumped right into Islam and very extremely devout for um, more than seven years. But um, yeah, these people that think they're so accepting and they don't like white supremacy and they, you know, they're so tolerant. If you don't believe exactly like them, then you're, you're just a bigot and the scum of the earth and stupid. And this is what I call the California, you know, white, rich liberal. And I don't care if they're from, they're, they're, their background is Daisy or they are, you know, their background is, you know, from, you know, Africa originally, or their, their, um, their ancestors are from Southeast Asia. If they're in, if they were born and raised in America or raised in America and have those beliefs of the LGBTQ and they're against religions and they're very materialistic and they're just like that regular California, what you think of as typical American. I see them as just whites. They're just, and they're, I mean, it's very proselytized and they proselytize this materialistic, you know, with things like feminism and Marxism without them knowing what Marxism is, but they're extremely materialistic and capitalist. And they have this idea of these different oppressions, you know, um, and they're for trans, um, uh, transitioning um, minors and they're, you know, all for um, every form of sex outside of marriage. Um, and that is hostile to almost every other culture on the face of the earth. And they want to eradicate, they want to ethnically cleanse the rest of the earth of all those cultures. And that's terrifying. You know, if you don't accept all of these views that the rest of the world sees as deviant, you know, we need to change your mind. We need to brainwash you. <clears throat> I mean, they, they actually hate people who have a different viewpoint or a different religious belief or uh, a different understanding or a different culture than them. And yet they claim to be tolerant. And they're the most intolerant people. Um, I was at a, um, a rally for uh, the liberation of Palestine against the, um, the Israeli genocide that 
it's being committed against Palestine and there were people with the rainbow flag and it got ripped down and they were, I mean, these people don't even know what they're doing. That the, the Palestinians see that as an imperialistic sign of Israel. That's one of the justifications that Israel goes, see, we need to kill these people. They're, they don't believe in all, you know, they're not, they don't believe 100% with the, the LGBTQ stuff. So that's why we need to eradicate them. They're barbarians. The, the rainbow flag is, is an imperialist, is a, is a Western imperialist symbol. And that's how it's seen by many Muslims, many people from the Middle East, many people from even Eastern Europe and Russia, and many Africans. Even some people from Latin America, even though Latin America is the West. But, um, yeah. Uh, but these people, you know, they put their fingers in the air. No, 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 no. The, 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 the rainbow flag is, is an imperialist. It's not uh, um, a vehicle to, a, in a motive to abuse and exterminate people and genocide them and ethnically cleanse them and, you know, take their children away and all this kind of stuff and brutalize them. And I don't think, I, I, I know, because I don't believe that the white Americans are this evil um, or that the, the liberals or Democrats are this evil. It's just that they're ignorant. And we, die, we really need to educate them because this is how genocides happen. And we're seeing two genocides happening right now, one against the Palestinians, um, the other one I don't think I can mention on YouTube, but uh, yeah, these these people that are so tolerant, they will be, I could just see in a few years, you know, something as bad or as worse than the Nazis of the late 30s, early 40s. So yeah, um, I, we need to educate these people. I mean, the fact that uh, these people that wanted to, before Palestine brought something like a, an LGBTQ flag, rainbow flag. That's an imperialist symbol of the West against Islamic society, against Islamic culture, against not even Islam, but any non-Western culture. Because that's litmus test. Oh, hey, do you, do you like this? I mean, it's, that's why a lot of Non-Americans see that as, you know, a CIA symbol, because it kind of is. All right, peace to you. If this is new to you, um, you probably don't speak another language or you've spent most of your time, most of your life in America, or are, you know, and are atheists and don't have tradition. Uh, well, whatever. I don't want to judge you, but uh, peace to you. Um, and may God save the Palestinians from the evil imperialist Israelis. And may uh, imperialism die. Peace to you.